good news, good news, good news, good news, good news, good news. About questions. Like, do you have any kind of spiritual belief? What do you believe in? To you, who is Jesus? Do you think there's a heaven or a hell? If you die tonight, where would you go? If heaven, why? If what you believe in is not true, would you like to know? Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 14.6 Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Romans 10, 9-11 Verse 9 That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has, God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10 For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto, unto salvation. Verse 11, For the scripture says, Whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Second Corinthians 5.15 And he died for all, that those who live should, li should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. So I have five questions to ask you. Are you a sinner? Do you want forgiveness for your sins? Do you believe Jesus died on the cross for you and rose again? Are you willing to surrender your life to Christ? right now. Are you ready? If not, why? If you say yes, you could pray, th pray this prayer. And prayer is just, you know, speaking to God. And here it goes. Dear God, I know that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and was raised from the dead. I know I have sinned and need forgiveness. I am willing to turn from my sins and receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, if you, if you sincerely prayed this prayer, you have just made one of the most important decisions of your life. You can be sure you, have, you are saved and have eternal life. Welcome to the family of God. Though you need to grow as a Christian through reading the Bible, being associated with the church, a Bible believing church that's 100% Bible believing, public, publicly confessing Jesus, confessing Jesus and baptism, and through prayer where you can talk to God because you have a relationship with God. And also, to witness. To witness. To share this, these cards to a friend so they may know the good news.